Hi, I'm Mark Alfonso from PLC Calibration. We provide calibration and repair services for the Aeroflex 4000 and 6000 units. And today I'm going to be talking about how to run the self-test diagnostic, as well as some other neat tips and tricks that are going to help you out when you're using the unit. So I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, tips and tricks for checking things when it arrives at your maintenance facility or any time that you haven't been using the unit last yourself and you're grabbing it from somebody else to use. A few things to check for, and this is already just booted up and ready to go. So if you go into the setup menu first, we're going to run a self-check and then also check for some other uh, diagnostics on it. So we want to go to setup general here, okay? And we want to look at info. And under there, we can see that the mode S and the TCAS options are installed. Also, it tells you what your different software versions are for the bootloader and the FPGA, CPLDs. So this basically gives you your software version. So what we want to do is uh, we'll hit return here and we're going to go to hardware tools and we're going to run the internal diagnostic. You'll see that the multifunction I.O. board is revision zero, and then it actually gives you the revisions here, and it gives you the serial number of the block as well, internally. Um, next thing that's really, really useful and really recommended to do is run the self-test, and that just basically checks the health of the unit. So disconnect all the cables first, as it says, and then you can run the test here. And this takes a few seconds to run. And one of the ones that you really want to look out for is the non-volatile RAM battery, okay? And that's a battery that's actually installed on the circuit board itself. It's soldered in there. So it's something that you just want to see if it's, you want to make sure that it says pass on it. It's, you know, it's rare that there would be a problem with it, but it's something that, you know, we have seen in the past and that's something that we can do a repair on. Also, the, uh, the calibration constants for the unit are in stored inside non-volatile RAM, so that would probably need to be recalibrated if there was a failure on the non-volatile RAM. The other thing that non-volatile RAM is important for is it actually stores your options on there and the license codes for your options. So if for some reason you power up the unit one day and you're trying to use one of the uh, extra options, such as the TCAS option, and you see that for some reason it's, uh, you, you don't have it anymore or you can't access it, just run the self-test, make sure the uh, NVRAM battery is okay because if, like I said, if that has failed, the unit needs to be repaired and the option needs to be reinstalled again. Now that we've done our self-check or self-test diagnostics on the unit, uh, one of the neat uh, kind of tips and tricks here is, you know, you can change your contrast really easily as well as your backlight. So backlight, you can hit the up arrow, down arrow keys to get there. Another one that's really good to know is, say that you wanted to do your setup here, you can actually go through all the different setup menus. Okay, it says hit backlight when done. So you can go through all your different setup menus, but, and then you have to go back to your DME or your transponder. One of the things you can do to make it easier for you is just hit transponder here set this all up first and then hit set up here and then it actually brings you to the setup right away so it's just an easy way to bypass those pages